Hello, today I'm going to show you how to share your Instagram videos and Facebook videos in a MailChimp newsletter. So the reason I need to show you this is because there is a little video module inside MailChimp, but it's really just for YouTube and Vimeo. So to share a Facebook or Instagram video, it's a more manual process. I'm just going to get busy and show you so we don't have to wonder what is she talking about? So I'm just up to this step. So normally I use a past campaign as my um, template. I just find that the easiest thing to do. Then I don't have to put all the logo and everything in again, a new. But otherwise you can just start with layouts and just choose a design that you like. She's loading. Now, like I said, um, over on this side, there is an option for video. And if you drag that over and put it in, it will ask you <clears throat> for a URL from YouTube or Vimeo. So you can't put a Facebook URL of a video in there and have it work. So my workaround for this is I put in an image. And what I would do is I would go to my Facebook. Oh, let's get it up. My Facebook, I've got a recent video. And I would simply take a screenshot of that video. So I'll find it. Oh my gosh, how's this face? I love the thumbnails. That's slightly better. Oh, I look like I'm about to fall asleep. Are we all this vain? So basically I would take a screenshot of the video and I'm going to take it so that that little play icon down the bottom is visible. And then when I look at my screenshot, yeah, it's got a play icon. So if you take a screenshot and it doesn't have the play icon, I would probably go into Canva and I would create a post, you know, like a, an, a design, just an image of whatever type, probably an Instagram post or something small. MailChimp only really likes it 600 wide. So I'd probably create a design actually that would be like 500 by 500. Because if you make it too big, um, it sort of freaks out people's inboxes that can't deliver. So then I just drag in my picture. And then over on the side under elements, if I just look up play, it usually has the image that I'm looking for. This. So this is just the play icon. So just like the play button on a video. So if you choose an image that doesn't have the play icon or like mine, it's sort of, you know, gone a bit below or whatever, you can just go here, get your picture and then just slap one of these bad boys on top <laughs> and then export that as a design. And then people will understand, oh yeah, click download, download it and bring it into your MailChimp. So by back here in MailChimp, we can upload an image and we'll upload that one I just created. Is it landed yet? Oh, where's it gone? The poor little thing, it's a bit slow. Let's pause. So it's landed now, sorry about that. So there's our picture we made in Canva. Bring that in. And then the other thing we need is the URL of the video. Now, you know, each post has its own unique Per, like URL, it's called permalink. And you get that by clicking on the day time of, you know, the day or time of the video. It might say just now, but this is the URL of this post. Each post on social media has its own unique URL. So you have to grab that and then, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit here and there, isn't it? This, anyway, we're going to do it. Under link, if you click link, and then you can put that URL from Facebook and click insert. And now when people receive this, I mean, obviously you have some text saying, here's my video about la la la. When they click on this, it takes them straight over to the social media post and it's all linked up. So basically that's how I do it. I know that was very fast. Remember, it's not really fun like Netflix. Rewatch pause, work along with me and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope that was helpful.